Bruce Willis' diagnosis is putting the focus on aphasia. Last hour, we walked you through how it affects someone after brain damage. Now we take you back to Houston Aphasia Recovery Center to show you how therapy helps improve language lost from the condition. Nice reach, OT. Music therapy is a huge part of recovering from aphasia as well as learning to live with it. Yeah, okay. Nice, Pat. Tap. After Tom Pickett suffered a stroke, he has made giant leaps in recovery the past few years, thanks in part to his time spent here at Houston Area Recovery Center, or HARC. Not communicating, and uh, and then little by little, I'm the words, the words, and uh, I can understand the words. That's got to be a relief, I would. Right, think. right. What about the music? I saw you like. I like the music. The music is light up me. People with aphasia often know what they want to say. It's just hard to get the words out. That's where music comes in. Do you remember lyrics better than you do typical words when you carry on a conversation? Can you tell the difference there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's empowering, right? When you can sing a song and you know all the words and right. you can say it at the right time. Right, right. Music makes a big difference because it engages different parts of the brain that are not usually affected by aphasia. So aphasia is an injury to the left side of your brain where your language centers are. Music engages more areas of your brain, some in the right hemisphere and some different areas. Cheryl Adamson lost her speech after a stroke 12 years ago, but she sure knows music. What about the music? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. Sometimes um, people with aphasia can sing a lot better than what they can usually speak. So that can make a huge difference in someone's confidence, I think, for someone with aphasia to be able to sing some of their favorite songs but also it, it brings an emotional and sentimental value um, to being here at heart. And to be able to participate in all of that together, I, I just see everyone's face light up every day. Kathleen is a speech language pathologist at HARC and believes speech therapy and group sessions is helpful. To feel comfortable with each other. Yes. And by doing that, you know, you're bringing in a functional group where people can practice just having a conversation. And that can really lead to more confidence yes, yes. outside of here and just feeling like I, you know, I have aphasia, but I can still have meaningful communication yes, yes. with my friends, my family and the community. Tom is thankful he can communicate better now. For several days after his stroke, he could perfectly hear and understand everyone around him, yet could not utter one word. I'm trapped and I'm looking around family or friends, and I don't speak. Therapy has made a world of difference for him, and music tops the list. So uh, I can understand the words of the music, and like, well, I would raise you up. Sharing his beautiful voice while being the voice for others with aphasia so that we can all better understand what they're going through. And he perfectly described that, where he felt trapped in his body when he had no words. He knew what he wanted to say, but it wouldn't come out. So I just think that they're just so valiant to be able to explain to us what we're going through. And Bruce Willis is making a difference with this. Now people are calling this center in Houston. It's a nonprofit, so it's not going to break the bank. Just a small fee for anybody, and they just you know rely on a lot of grants and, and donations. Well, it's probably a more common condition than it we is. might have thought. And for many people, it's probably the first time hearing of aphasia sure. when Bruce Willis was diagnosed, but there are quite a few people who suffer from it. And that was the only center in Houston mm -hmm. for a long time. Oh, yes, one of the only ones in the entire country 12 years ago. 43,000 people in Houston right mm -hmm. now, and most people who suffer a stroke will experience that at some point mm -hmm. in their recovery. Wow. But they were very brave to, to talk about so it too. as well and, mm -hmm. and communicate what they're going through. All right. Thanks, Melissa.